Uh, guys, so now, today I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a bigger review about side control, okay? And tomorrow we're gonna, tomorrow and after tomorrow, we're gonna learn two new techniques, okay? But I think it's important for us to uh, review everything that we saw until here. The first thing, so every time that someone is passing my guard, I need to frame. It's gonna be my first reaction, okay? I cannot wait the person get the side control to try to defend myself. So the drill will be here. I'm gonna be here on my, on my back, and Jack is gonna try to pass. You can try any technique that you want. You see, my first step here is gonna frame, and then I'm gonna try to find a way to bring my top leg on his, on his leg, on, on his hip, and then recover the guard, okay? It's mandatory, you keep your legs bend. Every time I extend my leg over here, I'm wasting, I'm losing my strength. And it's easy for him to pass my guard. Okay? So if you imagine a box fighter or MMA fighter, they don't fight like this, right? They fight like this, with their arms bent to protect the face. I don't have my arms, but I have my legs. I'm gonna use it in my favor. <clears throat> okay? So now the person on top is gonna try one pass. Frame, find a way to step, recover. Now he's gonna try to pass to the other side. Same thing, try to find a way to recover the guard and be flat with your back on the mat, okay? It's gonna be like something for you remember then every time that the person is passing my guard, I need to frame, okay? And then uh, recover the guard. So remember, if I have the grip, on the sleeve, for example, and Jack is passing my guard over here. So maintain the grip. Now I'm gonna recover the guard. The grip on the side and the person is passing the guard, you must maintain this grip. Okay, don't let it go, okay? It's a common mistake here. So the person is passing my guard over here, I have the grip, I let it go everything to do the frame. I have my top arm to do the frame. And my, my bottom arm, I'm gonna maintain the grip. Because if my frame fail here, I have the second option that we learned yesterday. So like I said, grips when you are on bottom, it's really, really important. Understand which arm you need to frame, it's important as well. And if you have the sleeve grip, don't let it go, okay? The frame needs to be you, need to, you, you must do the frame with your top arm, not the bottom one. The bottom one is gonna support if you don't have the grip. But if you have the grip, maintain the grip on the sleeve, and then you're gonna press the second one. We're gonna press the second one after this one here, but try to keep it on your mind, okay? Let's go, one, two, three. 